Women in history never heard of and wouldn't be surprised if you haven't either. Today, let's talk about Rose Dunn. Rose Dunn was born around 1878 and passed in 1955. She saved her boyfriend from certain doom. Well, for a little while. This is another one that people like to say is legend. But if you've been paying attention, you know that all legend is born from fact. And there's a lot of conflicting stories about Rose. But I'm going to give you what, in my opinion, is the most believable. That said, Rose got a good education in Oklahoma. But her brothers taught her the good stuff. Riding, roping, and shooting. Story goes she could ride better than any man. By the time she was 12, her two older brothers had started a gang. And outlawing. Rose liked to hang out with them a lot. Now, when she was 14, they introduced her to George Bitter Creek Newcomb. He was 11 years older, but it was the late 19th century. What minimum age of consent? So George would hang out with her at her family's house to be with her. Well, he'd been in the Dalton gang, but then joined the Doolin gang, because the Dalton one didn't turn out very well. Seems like there was a lot of job security for outlaws back then. The outlaws loved Rose. She was sweet, beautiful, and could get supplies for them from town. You know, criminals and all. In September of 1893, the guys were living it up in a saloon in Ingalls, Oklahoma, when they heard, Come out with your hands up. Marshals had surrounded the building. Well, Bill Doolin responded, Go to hell, and opened fire. Townspeople ran for cover. Rose watched from a hotel window as George collapsed. She grabbed his Winchester and two belts of ammo, and with bullets raining down around her, she ran that gun to him and took cover. The gang got him and the gun on a horse, but he was so badly wounded he dropped the gun before he could ever use it. Once he got to feeling better, he wanted to see Rose. Duh. Alas, he was wanted, dead or alive, to the tune of $5,000. And Rose's brothers had decided bounty hunting was more lucrative than outlawing. When George and his buddy came calling, Rose's brothers took them both out and were $5,000 richer. Rose never faced charges. In fact, she and, well, no other women were ever mentioned in newspaper accounts. Rose was mentioned in a report by a marshal. But women probably weren't included because they were too fragile. It would be embarrassing. <sighs> so Rose left the outlaw life. She eventually married a politician. After he passed, she married again and moved to Washington State and lived as a respected citizen. After she passed, her husband said she never did any of that and wouldn't have talked about it. He did say she was good friends to the gang. Never turned him in, but not a criminal. Okay, let's say it's all a lie. Why not go public and tell the truth? Well, being married to men who wanted to protect their reputations probably shut her up. But whether you want to believe it or not, or protect your reputation, women do it too.